Vladimir Putin announced this week that Russia will begin using the Chinese yuan uh, to, for international payments instead of the dollar. Saudi Arabia is also in talks with Beijing to do the same thing. Speaking of Saudi Arabia, meanwhile, they are in talks uh, with Iran as well to consider an economic alliance with China in Russia. And they can even be joining the BRIC countries, which is an acronym for these countries here, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. These countries all have emerging economies. So what happens if our economy and the U.S. dollar are no longer the world's dominant currency? Former Assistant Treasury Secretary and host of the Monica Crowley podcast, Monica Crowley, is here to weigh in. Monica, great to see you this morning. Uh, let's start right there. What happens if these emerging economies move away from the U.S. dollar towards the Chinese yuan? Good morning, Will. It's great to be with you. And it's really hard to overstate exactly how catastrophic the abandonment of the U.S. dollar would be. Uh, as the world's uh, global reserve currency. Look, since the end of World War II, the dollar has been the safe place to go, and it's been backed up by a couple of things. It originally was backed up by gold, but President Nixon took, took us off the gold standard, so there's no hard asset backing up the dollar anymore for the last 50 years. But also it's been backed up by the strength and economic power of the United States and the fact that oil has always been traded in dollars. If that were to end, that would mean the end of the U.S. dollar.